Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Uh, if you guys are returning subscribers, thank you for coming uh, and viewing this video again. Today we are going to be testing out the uh, Ryobi 18 volt 1 Plus uh, drill driver um, with a Vermont uh, 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 brick, uh, cinder block drill, uh, concrete and uh, brick. Um, let's talk a little bit about the drill first. It's got a 4AH battery. The drill model is a PCL206. It does three. It does 750 RPM per minute. It's got a half inch chuck. The battery is a 206252. It's got four cells. Uh, it also has a serial number of a PBP005. Uh, the light has a, is a two-pin light. It's got a lot of torque to it. And we're going to take a look at the uh, drill itself. But beforehand, we're going to tell you what drill it is. It's a Vermont American catalog number 14004. Uh, it's a quarter inch, four inches long, masonry bit. Has a carbide tip spiral to drill for faster and drilling in convention, uh, conventional design uh, drill uh, slow then fast and then slow again when you guys are getting uh, through and I would go back and forth to take the debris out so now we're going to take a little bit of a look at the drill itself the drill driver you guys have the nice Ryobi sign over there you guys have a lot of grip as you can see the black and yellow is the standard of Ryobi right now. Uh, before you had the uh, blue and yellow, but now they decided to bring it back as a black and yellow. So we go a little bit closer and we see the all the grip all around right here. You have your uh, gray forward and reverse and lock. You guys also have the trigger in black right here. You guys can go down. You guys see your uh, light over here. Um, I would have liked to have the uh, light over here uh, as well so that it looks directly at you. So we're going to also take a look at the uh, chuck itself. The chuck is a plastic chuck. I wish that it was uh, a housing that was uh, steel. Now the jaws over here are... Uh, steel and uh, they look to be like they square the drill right in. Uh, as you can see this is the Vermont drill as we uh, showed you on the catalog number as well. If you want to go back and check out that catalog number as well I will be putting it in the description as well. So we take a look. Uh, the chuck is pretty durable for being a plastic chuck. You guys have all your clutch settings over here. I put it on the uh, clutch setting of the drill, which you guys are going to uh, see up here as well when you guys look at the uh, drill. You guys also have the uh, point on the front over here for the uh, chuck. Uh, it says the uh, locking and unlocking, and you have the clutch as well on that. Now you go down over here. I'm going to be taking it out right here. You guys are going to see your 18 volt. Uh, Ryobi 1 Plus with a 4AH battery. Now this came as a combo so you guys uh, would get a 1.5AH uh, and a 4AH. Now if you were going to get this uh, drill driver um, by itself, just the drill driver, you guys would get the uh, 2AH. Uh, there's a few uh, options. As you can see, I have the 4AH here because we're going to do some heavy drilling. Um, I'm also going to show you over here that you have your 1 and 2, your high and low. As you can see on top over here, you have your uh, vents for cooling as well. As you do on your sides over here, you have a nice grip over here on the front as well. Now we're going to take a look at the back a little bit over here. You have your uh, 1 Plus uh, huge grip on the back in case uh, it fell uh, on the ground I guess. They wanted to give you some more uh, durability, ergonomic, and uh, a lot of uh, 
caution if the drill fell. As you can see down here, we have the uh, black, and we also have the uh, the side over here. If you wanted to put the belt clip, I really don't like that, uh, but that's your uh, that's your decision. If you uh, are a contractor, you could have that as well. In the front over here, I'm going to show you guys that it's got the battery indicator. We're just going to hold it right there. And we're going to show you that this thing is fully charged prior to uh, drilling. So uh, we're going to see this thing in action. Uh, let me step back a little bit. And we're going to go back. Now we're going to set this in action. So we saw this thing in action. Uh, it looked like it did a great job as you can see over here. We're going to check the battery life as well uh, by hitting the button. It still, had, uh, it still has all the battery life and as you can see down here we're also going to check out the uh, drill itself. The drill looks very sharp as you can see right here. It didn't take a beating as well if I go close in to it uh, on the surface. You guys see that it did a great job. Let's take a look at the uh, at the uh, holes right there. We're going to try to uh, zoom out. Now we're going to try to do this thing as well uh, by, uh, by showing it to you as well. So we're going to try to drill one more time. That did it pretty well. We're taking a look right here at the drill. And I hope that you guys uh, got the gist of uh, whether it did a great job or not. Uh, I think it did a great job with the 4AH battery, which uh, I think had plenty of power. So I hope that you guys like and subscribe to my channel, and have a great day.